Hello and welcome again to Star Drive. This is Peter, and because of the apparent fame and you know hugely spread audience, the last video I, mean, I got you know almost a hundred views, just over. You know, so it's really big. We're gonna do another one, but this time we're gonna do a series. Um, we're gonna take you through making, creating a faction, and then throughout the game, so a full campaign. It's gonna be part one, and we're gonna create a uh, we're gonna create a faction. So yeah, we're going to start off and we're going to be human. As you can see, there's multiple factions, well, kind of what you're going to look like to begin with. I quite like the human ships, I'm not going to lie. I like all the ships, really, but the human ones have that special place in my heart. Now, when you're picking a faction, we're going to pick the Empire name, so I don't like that name. We're going to be... We go. We're going to be the new British Empire because obviously that's what's going to happen. We're going to re-establish the old British Empire. We're going to have it's going to be we're going to we're going to praise the Queen and yeah, all that jazz. It's going to be called home because it's our home system. I uh, don't like that flag, so let's pick a color. Let's make it all. Uh, we're humans, so what color should humans be? I like red. Let's find a nice shade of red somewhere. Somewhere. That's got a nice shade up there. Now let's pick a nice flag. No, 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 no. Ooh. No, 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 no. No, no. These are all kind of cool, I suppose, but I quite I want a, a striking one. Like the fist of the new British Empire. But no, because we're not really fisty. And we're not really Eastern either, so we're more kind of like that. More like that. None of these are at least scream Britain, I have to admit. Sword in the wings, that's not really Britain either, is it? No. Uh, hawk, lion, dragon. How does that hawk actually look like? Does it look good? Go and that's going to be us, the new British Empire under the hawk. Right, so sociological history and these are your tabs. These are your actual traits for your um, for your for your faction. As you can see, um, so far the AI for the normal human. So if I wanted, I could just take it in. We are smart, industrious, meticulous, and we have a prototype flagship. However, I don't want this. I don't want this at all. <laughs> We are also going to be mm, gluttonous, timid, dumb. No, because I want I want us to be smart. Because obviously, you have negative traits and positive traits, and to get more uh, nice positive traits, you have to have to sacrifice. So no one faction becomes too powerful. Uh, no, I like having good fighter pilots. Lazy, no, because we're industrious, I like that. I don't really like this meticulous thing. Then again, that gives me lots of money. And it only costs one, so we may as well keep it. Haphazard engineers. Uh, no. It's gonna be a, a highly evolved race of awesomeness. I like the cybernetics, it means we don't eat food. However, we're not going to do that this time. We're going to be normal humans. Um, I'm tend to get astronomers, but no. But to do that, that would be realistic, wouldn't it? Um, but no, let's not do that, just because it gives a big... No, I'm tempted to start with the small homeworld. Very tempted. I'll just go with honest. There we go, honest. Uh, 
really tempted to do that astronomers thing because uh, having Neos explored star systems is a really, really good thing to have. Um, you know, let's find another minus one and see if we can get this huge home world. I like this huge home world. Yeah, sorry, meticulous. You're not as important as a huge home world. Here we go. So, we are smart, industrious, we have a huge home world and a prototype flagship. No, I don't want a prototype flagship. I'd rather have that meticulous thing. But that's not on this tab, is it? Fertile is also good. Hmm. There we go. The new British Empire is an empire comprised of humans. Humans are a race of terrestrial beings with an average reproduction rate and unremarkable dietary needs. Physically, humans have no particular strengths or weaknesses. However, humans are extremely intelligent for a starfaring race and have a natural curiosity about the universe. Human government is efficient and effective, and its citizens are relatively intelligent about resource allocation. Human work ethic is strong, and their engineers and shipwrights are generally competent. Humans live very open and honest lives, and as a result have a poor understanding of the, <laughs> the concept of espionage. The human homeworld of Earth is very large for a Terran planet. There we go, guys. Um, I think that describes the humans fairly well. Obviously, this text changes what you've got here. Um, the unremarkableness is deliberate. I want to be actually good um, kind of at everything instead of amazing at some things and rubbish at others because it's easier in game. Right, so Galaxy Eyes, we're going to go for Epic. We're going to go for a rare number of solar systems to make it a little more realistic. Um, don't worry, it doesn't slow the pace down too much is still actually quite fun let's limit the number of opponents because yeah uh, let's make yeah you know what, no, you know what let's, do, let's do seven opponents I can do that it'll be fun it's a bit crowded though uh, let's do four uh, difficulty normal there we go let's, let's engage Gonna remember here that this game is in beta, so this isn't actually even the finished product. Um, so everything you see is uh, almost a placeholder, you know. When the actual release comes out, I'm sure it'll be even better than it is. Not to say that it is not already awesome. Now let's click to continue and uh, stop admiring this lovely little ship here. So this is a uh, this is Earth, as you can see. Beautiful little country, beautiful planet. I love how they've done planets in this game. And it, you know what's even cooler when you see uh, ships bombarding them with the explosions and oh, this is my crappy little starship here, my Perseverance. It's my little fighter that I have control of. Um, and yeah, so this is, what's this? this is my scout. So let's immediately kick up this because uh, this makes the game a lot more streamlined. We're gonna auto explore. We're going to auto-colonize, we're going to auto-build the projectors, that just spreads my influence. And we're going to do the automatic freighters. I'm going to undo the automatic colonization after the first few um, minutes into the game. Well, minutes, like that first we will into the game. Oh, if you change the name from Sol, it doesn't give you Mercury and Mars and the rest. Oh, that's, that's weird. But yeah, we've got Home 3 and Home 1 now. Oh, okay, I should have kept it as Sol. Never mind. Um, yeah, let's carry on. First off, we're going to change the governor of this huge town to core. And he's going to start building core buildings. We're going to choose industrial foundations, aeroponics. Uh, this is all important stuff that you need. And then we're going to unlock the heavy fighter hull, energy weapons. That's going to be a good start to get on with. Obviously, and the research is a huge component of this game. It's incredibly important. You need um, they unlock all the things you're actually going to need to be able to take them out. So what I've got done here is my industrial, so that's going to get me my money, my resource, my etc. That one's going to get the food for my people, so the once those two belts, we're going to have farms and peat and stuff. Um, we're then going to be able to research faster with the scientific foundations when they build that building. The biospheres are going to be uh, just for planets which aren't exactly amazing at, uh, so they've got low they're not as habitable as others, um, they can build them and they put buildings in them. I'm not sure if I need that just quite yet, I might switch around with the thing, but then also we also need the heavy visor. And energy, energy weapons, because this we're going to be a, uh, a faction that doesn't have to rely on uh, resupply. 
I'm just going to be energy based so we can just keep blasting them with lasers, zap zap, and all that jazz. So these are my, we've got a transport ship and we have a colony ship here. It's a colony ship going around, it's going to colonize a bunch of planets. I love how these things look. God damn it, this game is so simple and looks so good and oh. And the jump. God, I love that. I'm just doing that so we start circling the planet. It looks cooler. Oh yeah, and I was gonna rename this. This is home. Oh, I need to quickly do this. There we go. And it's now named home. As it should be. <laughs> as you can see this is my scout and he's already off being busy we have another star system wow this one's good Whew. and there's no enemies in it this is a good find there's four planets two of which already have really good um, stats I'll talk over them in a sec uh, that's still got quite good stats so three of the planets here have good so Cathale 4 um, has a high population relatively and high resources and you know what this is a really good find here to begin with at right at the start of this game I like that's that's really fortunate you don't you don't get this usually and if you do they're full of enemy so that's not as fun um this was this is even better than that one if you look at the stats just really high and yeah that's I got a huge industrial but as you can see the uh this thing here is whether it's habitable or not and it's uh, that's pr pretty low so biospheres will come in handy on that one so this Cathayal system and home this is going to be my center of the empire because it's just so powerful and got a bunch of really good systems ah uh, see this is what you're more likely to find Zyra's with a terrible planet which is just not useful I've done my usual and completely forgotten to time this so it's going to be either an hour or 10 minutes and I, I, I'm not really going to know I'm going to kind of just keep playing until my tea gets cold. Yes, I'm drinking tea. I'm British. We're the British Empire. That's what we do. That was really hot. Okay, home. How you doing? Build stuffs. Got a spaceport. That'll be... That's why I can build ships. You know what? I'm, you know what? That's what we should be doing right now. Let's build a few Vulcan Scouts. We've got a little bit of a fleet to protect ourselves if needed, because there's nothing else in these building at the moment, so we're just not wasting anything by doing that. So here we go, these are my little fighter planes. And our first place is colonized. This is one of the ones with awesome stuff all around, so we're going to turn that into a core planet. And I imagine it was start off by building a spaceport. There we go, and the second colonization is about to happen. So that's our first planet there, and our second planet here. Oh god, it makes you all excited. Look at this, look at this, look how pretty that is. It's going to be at the beginning of a space empire by, uh, with humans at its center. We're going to conquer the galaxy with peace and flowers and lasers. Lasers being the uh, the offensive tool there, obviously, because throwing flowers um, isn't as, as damaging as one would expect. Unless they're roses, they've got they've got dangerous thorns. You need to watch out for them. And oh, we immediately see this is this is why uh, Alter Colony is awesome because these guys are just going straight in. Um, apparently, they've already been built. So that's all three of those planets colonized. We're gonna make this industrial because its population really isn't very good. So there we go. You be industrial, boy. It's not that one's not gonna be able to do anything for quite a while. There we go. Look at that. Look how nice that is. And see these green markers here. That's gonna be eventually the building of kind of subspace links so the travel gets faster well at, le at least I think the travel gets faster but kinda on the map you'll see it'll start to dedicate what goes where follow that, are you worth colonizing? not really I should build another scout so we can get this uh, scouting done quicker and this is my little fleet of fighters right here just circling around the planet Okay, they're gonna build some more small, small transports, and then we're gonna build a few more scouts. Let's do 
Let's have four scouts overall. Oh, hyperspace flux. This is one of the uh, the events you get. And it means there's a huge hyperspace flux. And that basically means the universe is farted and um, no one can use fast travel. So all the ships are stuck at snail speed. Oh, God, see how much I had to zoom in there. You, you zoom out so far, you zoom back in, the ships are tiny. But the ships are also huge. It's it's awesome. Look at that. I'm I'm literally scrolling the mouse wheel constantly there, and I'm still zooming out. It's huge. Obviously, if I'd set at the beginning parameters, um, there'd be more star star systems. There would be more star systems. You'd probably see instead of what there's one, two, three, four, five, six, six seven or so here. You see maybe like ten or twelve. Aha, Here we go. This is where the building starts, and this is where they're going to build the rover bay. Ah, this guy um put that to the front. So we have a rover bay built, and then we're gonna build a habitable. Wait, that's not habitable land. That's what are you building there? I want to know a warehouse. There we go. My capital city here. I wish I could name the capital city. Call it Edinburgh. Yes, I know London was technically the capital of Britain, but and oh god I can't believe I said that uh, if if there would be a capital Britain it would be London because it is the largest uh, of the cities and all government is based there but in my empire Edinburgh is the capital because it's a nicer city it's it's beautiful and I live there <laughs> oh I am horribly biased let's have a look at these guys you you busy building your spaceport and rover bay yeah once you know, I would say build the rover bay first, because that's going to mean building the spaceport is much faster. Oh, I can't fast build. I've got monies. Gah. Same with you, let's build a rover bay, because that increases your industry by, like, a bit. Solid outpost taking root here. Yeah. I like this. It gives you a little talk about the planet. That's really quite nice. Oh god, this planet's population is shrinking due to starvation. <laughs> we need to get those transport ships running. Go, go, go. Oh, these guys have been bringing in the food from my uh, capital planet. My home world. The ages of the scouts setting out after they've been built, as you can see. Uh, however, because of this hyperspace flux, they're traveling at, at dwarf speed. And dwarf by dwarf, I mean snail, obviously. Right, you're not building anything. Let's well, let's build a few space marines, just so they can protect the home planet if needed. And then after that, we can build some fighters. There's not really much we can do at the moment until uh, the research is completed. Not too much longer until the aeroponics. When that's built, we can then start making farms, which will. Hopefully, stop the starvation in this place. There we go. Let's get that that time back up. So the scout's gonna keep finding star systems. So I imagine this one's gonna go and get all these ones. You know, you can travel fast now. Okay, good. My scout's off to explore the known world. Uh, what what what's the, what's the Star Trek phrase? Something like. Go, no man has gone before, and blah blah blah, and you know, new frontier and all that jazz. Off you go, find the aliens so we can greet them with lasers. And love, of course. Pretty lasers, they'll be purple and, and tasteful. There we go, we've got some troops, just in case our homeworld gets invaded. I like having ground troops on my, on my planets, because it means when they do get invaded, they can actually fight off the attack. However, we're not going to be doing that when we attack enemy places, we're going to be nuking them from orbit, because I find that so much better. Just kill everything on the planet, then recolonize. I don't want any of those inbred alien scum trying to breed with my people. We are humans, we are Aryan. Wow, <laughs> this empire has taken a, a huge step to the right. Or maybe that's just me. You do eventually unlock terraforming uh, in your colonization. Research, so that builds terraformers for planets, which are terrible, so that's quite good, it's quite a good one to have. However, as you can see, this is taking long enough. It speeds up, but the more planets you have, the more research bonus you get, and the two planets here that have core, so I'm not going to complain. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, as I was saying, these guys are core, so um, 
that means that they're going to build all of them, everything. Governing will build a balanced world to stand at the core of your empire. And it really is the core of my empire. Look at this. This is my powerhouse here. This is going to be the industrial, commercial, cultural, red light district <laughs> of my empire. You, you come here for everything. And we've had our first enemy contact. Is this worth engaging over? Yes. Hell yes it is. Off we go. We shall... Uh, We're gonna, we're gonna, we're actually gonna fight the. Um, I'm not sure about those two. We'll probably colonize them later. But we're gonna be fighting for this carries. I like that. How's our armada doing? You good? I'm gonna build a few more ships just to. Uh... I happen to know that the remnant forces, which are the ones that just are in the universe normally, the automated units, not the other empires, the factions, is, um, are actually very difficult. By difficult, I mean incredibly difficult. Ah, yeah, these guys here, which just disappeared as you came. Ah, wow, this place is colonizable, and there's no enemy. The enemies are over here, so not over there. So I'm going to have to fight the guys here. And I'm going to have to fight the guys over here. But let's fight the guys over here first. Ah, good, they're going to start building uh, farms everywhere. That place isn't, Bill Isle isn't really worth it. An eagle, that's another one. But let's take the uh let's take our fleet. That's a good number of fleet, and let's send them on our first first combat mission. There we go. Obviously you can create uh these things. What are they called? Uh fleets. But I, they get very messy. Um, I think they need a bit more streamlining in the beta, so I'm probably only ever going to create one fleet and have just the rest of the ships on kind of um, Empire Defense. So I have one invasion fleet, which is going to be my attacking force, and have the rest of my ships just being Empire Defense. I'm just going to roam the stars and defend my new English Empire. New British Empire. Oh god, I said that. I'm Scottish and I said that. That's embarrassing. Where are you going, Scout? You should be out scouting the galaxy. Don't come back. I, d I didn't give you leave to come back. Scientific Foundation. That will improve the overall science uh, research that we're doing. Because obviously, once you research science, <laughs> you get better. I do actually like in this tech tree we have physics. Subsies. Admittedly, it's not the physics that you're going to be used to recognizing. But it's still pretty cool. What does that even give me? Warp inhibitor. Oh, that's cool. Pretty cool. In inhibit the enemy warp. Quite like that. I like this antimatter reactor though, because it's it's good. It also explodes, so big fiery death for ships using that. Cool. It's just increasing my line of sight over there. You do actually get, or is it the colonization, I think? Planetary defense? There we go, you get planetary defense, which is awesome. Gun replacements, so they actually, f you know, attack the enemy um, from your planet. And, um, yeah. Oh wait, I think they only attack landing troops and, yes, oops. They don't attack ships. That's, uh, we'll deal with that. Anyway, this year, this year, look at this, assimilation. Can all the positive genetic traits of any race conquered via ground invasion? Oh, I love that. But we're human, we're Aryan, we're not gonna nick genetic stuff, we're just gonna manipulate ourselves. Still on their way, because obviously fast travel is, while it is fast, at the moment we, have unlo we haven't unlocked any fast open methods. I think you can make them eventually go faster. But as you can see when I zoom in there, they're going pretty damn fast. Can't really catch up with them in the camera. And here we got the thriving, look at this, thriving commerce between planets. We got the transport ships going to and from. To and from, to and from, to and from. Build some more ships, but we've got nothing else to do.
They won't take long to build. Got such a good strong center of the empire. Wow, this thing's taken ages to build. Jesus. I guarantee when they've built that rover bay, they're gonna just oh maybe it's because um they they were starving to begin with, so they're in dust that everything went down. But now that they're getting food from my place, it's not as bad. But yeah, colonies have slow beginnings but fast when they once they actually build their rover bay and things like that and they actually can then start owning enemy. So this guy's with this guy. Oh, he's going down there, isn't he? Because I, I said to colonize one of those planets. Tholic, are you a good system? That's worth it. And that is also worth it. Jesus, this place is awesome. Tholic, we're gonna be we're gonna be colonizing there. Hope they're sending one already. Yeah, they are. Come on guys, find me some more places to go and live in glory. That's, that's rubbish. It's also rubbish. Yeah, that's not worth it. You scout, one of you go do those ones. Hello, let's take these guys on. So this is a battle, this is combat in this game. I'm gonna get them all to attack the same enemy just because that makes everything much easier. You know what? Fuck it, do this one. Closer. So, obviously, they will engage other enemies when they get in range, but as you can see, they can do this awesome. But yeah, this is enemies with awesome shields and laser weapons against my guys with Gatling guns. Who do you think is gonna win? And I'm telling you, my bet is on the enemy, unfortunately. Because they are ridiculously powerful at the start, at least. When I don't have the weapons to counteract them. We're just going to have to build, like, an entire new fleet. To begin with. Well. I was building them just now, so I don't need to worry about it. I would very much appreciate it if these colonies would hurry up and build so we can start, you know... Getting bigger. Clearly, my scouts haven't found any other enemy empires yet and, and in fact I'm tempted to say let's not auto scout anymore because they're gonna start finding enemy empires and then they're gonna know about me and then they're gonna possibly invade me so you know that's we're gonna we're gonna stop that just for now I'm gonna switch that back on once we built up a little longer there's a few places we can colonize and build up to the point where they're ridiculously powerful. Oh, look at this asteroid fighting. Lasers! This is what we want. This is what we want on our ships. But we have these Gatling guns, which do sound cool, and they are quite powerful, but they tend to run out and are not too, too awesome. We are doing damage here. We are actually doing some damage. We've destroyed one of the two fighters, and then they've got... That's two frigates there. I love that. In combat with the new British Empire. <laughs> Kill that fighter, please. So we've taken out... There we go. Now there's only two of them left. We may actually win this fight. You have to wear down its shield. Get a hit. Get a few lucky hits in its shield. And uh, then you'll start seeing the damage um, appear. Obviously, these ships are all actually very, very, very modular. So you can... Oh, this is where their ammo is starting to run out. Don't think we're gonna win this. So let's you know we're gonna fight another day. We're gonna we're gonna set we're gonna save these guys. Then we're gonna send a bigger fleet to just finish them off. Come on guys, your job is gonna be to take out these bad boys over here. And they're like, wow, we won the battle, we have a reprieve, and you're like, no, you just tried to tickle the pinky of the new British Empire. And the horde turns up.
Come on. Let's get those colonies built. Let's get this place up and running. You're meant to be a huge, awesome heart of the Empire. I appreciate it. Oh, there we go. We finally built the war bay. And there we are. See that? See how fast that is? That went... That was in four last time we looked. Well, that one was taking ages to build. And now it's taking... And we auto finished it, and there we go. We now it's a spaceport, so it's going to be even faster. So that, yeah, this is starting to kick off. Tholic the fourth. Wow, that place is just so, oh, this is so good. Core. I am so lucky with my planet so far. So that's the one in the far north. So you can see we've got Cathal, we've got Home, and we have Tholic. So this is my empire. That's the that's the outpost up there, and another one. Whew. It's barren, but it has a lot of richness. So that's going to be an industrial one over there. And that's the one down there near the enemies, isn't it? In the uh, the bad system. Yes, there we go. But we can see them now, because we're actually in the system. Jesus Christ. That's a bigger one than we had before. So there's three fighters in that one. And two frigates. But that planet would be very worthwhile. That Rona second. We're gonna take that planet by force if need be. But first, we're gonna destroy carriers and take carriers. Might as well just colonize it now, because they're gonna be too busy fighting my fighters to actually fight the the colonizing ship, which is eventually gonna get there. Build some more fighters, shall we? Uh, scientific foundations a little longer. I'll probably built all those ships by the time they do that. So as you can, let's have a look at the empire list. We have currently one, two, three, four, five, six, six planets, of which home and a couple of the cathal ones are starting to actually export. So um, it's looking good so far. Looking very good. Fleet is almost at carriers, and the, you know that being the fleet of awesome and awesomeness. That place is worth colonizing. Belial. That's a bad guy in um that rubbish game with starts with a D and ends with a three. I made a rhyme. You guys gonna think I'm smart. Okay, come on, let's take this planet. This planet is worth it. Look at that. Twelve point nine. Yeah, it's not a great industry, but I'm going to make it my research center. So it's just going to be awesome for research. Hey, that is pop. It's, it's for. No, no, let's just make it core. We'll just make it core. And this is where those fighters realize how much trouble they're in. They're in such trouble. Look at this, it's going to start taking damage soon, because uh, its shields are just eventually going to run out, and then you'll see the uh, damage taken. Here we go, it's trying to run away, and my fighters are just chasing and gunning it down, because they're faster. Oh god, I'm taking a lot of hits there. There we go, that's it being, that's it being taken out. God, I love the explosions! And here goes the big boom. Boom! One frigate left. Is the colony ship already on its way? That would be nice. No, it's not. And now the planets can start building research places. So after all this done, as you see the research lab there. After this, I think it's bias. Ooh, we've got biospheres, yeah, but that won't take too long. And then we can unlock the heavy fighters and energy weapons, and that's going to be awesome. I think we'll get xeno mining after that, or military outpost. What does this do? Yeah, go on then. Uh, yeah, we'll need all that. Xeno farming, yes. Uh, energy shielding, energy cannons, we need them. And we need the frigate. And shipyards. 
we are. That's that's that research starting to come along, and the research should be done quicker once these research places are built. These research labs here. Oh, this I like my home city, my home, my home planet already. Oh, I, 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 this game is just so good. And it's so simple and made by one guy, and it shows you how much just an indie developing game can accomplish. I just missed its Kickstarter, so I could have been playing for a long time ago, releasing videos a long time ago, but uh, unfortunately I didn't. I missed that. Here we go, let's take this bad guy out. Come on, let's take him out. Oh, he's almost gone. God, the models look so good. And the thing I like, it's not sprites. I hate 2D games like this, which is sprites. This extra effort of putting these small 3D models, which actually kind of move when they turn. Look how good that looks. Look how good that looks. Ah, oh, wow. Um, it's just, it's worthwhile, I think. There we go, and the carrier is, is ours. So I can bring my fighters back to the home planet, because obviously it's now safe to colonize. Hopefully this is the colony ship there. Here it is gonna go. Where's the colony? What? Are you not gonna... Okay, let's build a few colony ships then, since it's not doing it automatically. That'll do nicely. Oh shit, my money really isn't very good, so let's just increase that a little bit. Get to plus seven, that's gonna unfortunately affect my industry. However, um, as the population gains, we're gonna start seeing that. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's going straight back to minus three. What is taking my. Oh, it'll be my ships, that'll be, that'll be what I Okay, well, let's quickly. Let's decrease the fleet size, shall we, and get by. <laughs> Invading, you know, we need a good war to sort this out. So let's send all combat vessels to. There we go. Finally stuck. That's nice of them to you know, accept the order. And you guys. Fuck it, keep auto exploring. You're all Vulcan scouts, right? Good. Let's send you down there to attack the enemies. It's the main fleet here. God, there's a lot of them. That'll be why my money's so poor, is because I've got so many ships, I should stop building those fighters. At least for now. Don't need them. There we go. Um. Core. What on earth is that crash site? Cool. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna do this. We're gonna we're gonna uh, send over ground troops to find out what that is. Where is that? That's Tholek, isn't it? So let's start off with home. Let's build some space marines to replace the ones we're sending. We're gonna launch these guys into the sky. So that's their little ship there. And we're gonna go to Tholek. Where's Thalek? Where's Thalek? It's up here. Which one was it? Was that one? Yeah, here we go. Shit, shit, money, money is bad. We don't know what to do with this. We need to have a gain. Oh my god, I don't like taxing the highly. Why are we making no money? We need more industry. Bloody biospheres. You know what we need? 
that before anything else because that's going to increase our industry by a lot. Oh dear. But let's get these ships destroyed. Come on, send them there. Send them and hopefully some of my ships will get destroyed. Uh, that's horrible. Um, I'm sacrificing my humans, but it's for good of the British Re Republic. The end of this battle, once we've conquered Ronor, I think I'm going to end the video as a, a, a good point to, to mark the end. Come on, Tholic. Get your production up. We need your money. Yeah, we've got some monies now. Any of this got this some of these planets must be worth it. Like that one. And that one. Not that one. And not that one. So there's two planets in there which look awesome. What about Belial? No, you're not worth anything, are you? This one you kind of are, yeah. So you're already being colonized. You aren't. So we're gonna get Amda and Aw Testion. And apparently Ceres. Oh yeah, it's the one that we, we conquered. So that's going to be a good victory. There we go. So that's going to be... The Biospheres are going to start unlocking the planets that would be difficult to colonize out of the w any in any other way. But this Xeno mining is the more important of the of the, uh, the resources. There we go. This is the fighting. Let's see if we can... There we are. So my fighters must have been destroyed because we're already plus four instead of plus three. Kill them all. Murder them. Burn them. And all that jazz. Damn it, fighting looks so good in this. like when things are colonized, it makes things good. And it'll take us back to the fight. <laughs> Aha! Reverse engineering. We've encountered a strange group of decidedly hostile in in aliens in our exploration efforts. These aliens are aggressive, unwilling, or unable to communicate, and have no regard for their personal safety. The leading theory is that these ships are the remains of some former and now fallen space empire. For this reason, we have named this race the Revenant. By destroying the Revenant vessels, our scientists should be able to study advanced technologies that power them. We will need to assign our scientists to the task of reverse engineering these secrets and use secrets technology. Good, we need that. Um, so, let's go ahead and do that. Secrets. Revenant studies. And let's do that above shipyards. Above frigates. And above energy cannons. Yeah, that'd be good. I think these are the remnant here. Heavy drone. I think this is the remnant. These guys. I like their ships. I really do. I didn't just make silly names. Oh, hello. Discover crash ship. Here you made a truly awesome discovery. What appeared from orbit to be a shipwreck was in fact not a track at all, but a completely intact cruiser. What's more, it appears to be space worthy and your forces. Oh my god. This is it. Full save on me now. You made me worry it was a crash. Just as I found an awesome spaceship. So let's have a look at this thing, as my force is coming in to finish off the last of the remnant there. Right, where are we? We're up in Tholic, aren't we? Where are we? Here we go. Let's have a look at this. Where are you? Ancient Torpedo Cruiser. Where are you going? <laughs> what are you doing? Let's take you to my home planet. So they must have. Yeah, those troops must have landed by themselves. Cool. Sorry, I almost just drowned myself on my own tea there. Oh, you, know, you just keep me away from anything that's even remotely dangerous. How the hell do you manage to get tea up your nose? Shouldn't be possible. The conflict is looking good at the moment. 
go ahead and colonize this. And the money's gone back up, so let's reduce attack rate and build things faster. That's quite a formidable force, we don't really need any more. Especially now we have that stupid like, torpedo cruiser thing. Ah, this is the first first contact with a different alien species, the Cool Rathi Shogunate. So they're taking a lot of Eastern styles. That's um, I have to admit that looks more Chinese than Japanese. Never mind. Um, in the spring rains, pond river become one, bloodied by our foes. Head where our warrior poets Homun and anger not the mighty Cool Rathi. Okay. Um, excuse the horrible Asian accent. If you're insulted, I didn't mean it. I just came on. <laughs> right. Cool. So we know them. As you can tell, I quite like being core, I like having a balanced thing. Balanced humans, balanced planets, everything balanced, so I can just react in any, without any weaknesses. Kill it. Bye-bye, Remnant. Say goodbye to your uh, silly life. It's taken ages to destroy it just because it's been so... All my guys are running out of ammo. Hurry up and blow it up. They're missing. It would be nice if my pilots could actually hit a target, you know, when it's just like standing there. Cool, and uh, you are going to be. You are not very good. Let's make you core. So let's have a look at the empire. We've got. Uh, we've got home and the core worlds here with. Uh, Tholic, our outpost in the north with, oh, we could actually expand up here. Uh, we also have in the east, we've got Kares and Amda with Otestan going to be colonized as well. In the south, we have Ronar, which is currently in conflict with the Remnant. And in the west, we have Memnor. That's worth it for industry. And yeah, this is a yeah, so this is gonna be quite a good place. Um, this galaxy is filled with danger, human, and we see you are our strength. Join us in pledging a mutual pact of non-aggression. We should cool. I like being friends with these guys; they're nice. So we now know one alien race, and we already have a non-aggression pact with them. That's good at this point because I want to be powerful before I start crushing the bugs. So it looks like they are based here, and they only have one star system. Which is very good because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Boom. And this is the uh, subspace links already being set up here by these build bot things, these builders, construction ships. Being sent out and they're gonna build these. It takes ages, but they are gonna eventually build them. There'll be a few more sent out to the link carriers and establish my empire. May I go with some more colony ships? No complaints there. Let's have a look at that awesome, you know, you'll all be shouting at the screen, have a look at the fucking cruiser. Okay, right, here we go. Where is it? What, where actually is my cruiser? Uh, ships, ships, ships. Can I see all my ships? Well, that's obviously not my flagship. Here we go. Right, where's this? Uh... Look for a different type of ship. Where is it? Air or ancient torpedo cruiser. Still moving to home. It's still traveling from up north. That'll be why I couldn't see it. Goes all the way up there. Look at that beauty. I've got a remnant ship. I wonder how I can, um. How, how do I look at its thing? How do I look at its thing? 
What does that mean? Ship will make head-on attack runs. No, we want you to uh, forward firing weapons on it. Orders like the ships to retreat to the shipyard. Yeah. You can toggle the shields on and off, that's quite nice. How do I have a look at it? There is a way that you can see what it actually has in it, which is very cool, I have to admit. So you can, that's how you make up your ships, which I'll show you in a bit. Um, kind of ship design, I've not done that yet because there's no need. I'm going to wait until we've unlocked the energy weapons and shielding before I do so. And we're almost done with the Xeno mining, so we're going to be able to build some uh, money making schemes. There we are, Xeno mine. It's being built already. I don't want to rush it because it costs money to rush it, but it's already it's being built fairly quickly. What comes after Xeno mining? Heavy fighters, cool. Let's see if that play, that battle's done so I can end this video. It, it's this game is too enjoyable. I actually, I'm really enjoying making the series. I will continue making the series if I get three or four likes because I've not got very many subscribers. But yeah, three or four likes if you enjoy it and I will keep doing it because I enjoy this game. Um, good, my fleet isn't too... Wow. Wow, I took a lot of casualties in that combat. Never mind. Send them back home. Interestingly enough, it's not actually affecting that all too much. So you know what, I'm going to build up a fleet because maybe it doesn't actually affect it. Okay, so there we go. Um, thanks very much for watching. As I said, give me three or four likes and this series will continue. Um, I probably, if even if you don't like it, I'll probably end playing this campaign anyway because I'm liking this. I'm liking this human new British Empire. So thanks very much for watching. This has been Peter. And I'll hopefully see you again soon.